If you are interested in starting your own lash business, being your own boss, and stepping into the beauty world, then I highly recommend that you keep watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a subscriber, then hey, if not, go ahead, click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up because if you're not a lash fan, I'm saving who are your lash fat, period. Okay, by the time this video, you guys, I already know I am doing a how to start your lash business 2022. Okay, we are now currently in the month of September, basically, and it's time for y'all to lock in for these last couple of months for 2022. So, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to start your own lash business, how to be your own boss and start hitting the sale goals and the revenue like um like the pictures i'm going to provide all around if you want to see these numbers you want your business to do numbers i definitely recommend that you keep watching this video okay so we're going to make this very 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 short simple straight to the point okay so first i would like you guys to go purchase my ebook ebook is available link is in the bio i will also make sure that i drop the link right here and that the link is attached to my description box below okay so the ebook is going to help you basically do everything that i'm going to tell you to do right now in this video but it's going to be very much more in detail in my ebook okay so my ebook just provides you a stepping stone to start your last business it doesn't matter what business you want to start actually my ebook is able to help you if you want to start a lip gloss business a wholesale business a jewelry business a hair business it don't matter what you want to sell my ebook will help you start that business it will give you all the tricks and the tips that you will need to make your brand successful okay but anyways back to the video so there's a couple of points that i want to hit on okay so when you're starting a lash business the first thing you want to think about is a unique name a unique logo and then getting all of the business side of um your lash business in order so when you think about a name you want to think about your business name being on every on everywhere so when i thought about lash by mercedes i literally had my graphic designer put lash by mercedes like on the storefront like so she can just so i could just see how it would look if i was able to get you know a storefront or a shop for my business and i kept writing it down in different fonts like i literally fell in love with my name okay so you want to pick a unique name that's unique to you know it doesn't matter what that is but pick a name that's unique to you and just go with it okay and then when it comes down to your logo you want a nice clean simple straight to the point logo like it's 2022 we're not doing all that glitter and stuff no more like all of that is very very like tacky and y'all can have y'all opinions on that but i'm just giving y'all the real okay i do not recommend logos that have a bunch of glitter on them or just have too much going on i feel like a nice clean class uh classy looking logo is just perfect to go anywhere basically doesn't matter if you putting it on your bundles for your hair it doesn't matter if you are putting it on mugs or you know your shopping bags that you get from visa print when you're going to the post office it doesn't matter a nice clean logo can take you very very far okay so i don't recommend you know big bulky letters i don't recommend like i said the glitter um words that you cannot really see when i say see i mean cursive that you cannot really pick out what it's saying you know you want to make it easier for your customers to know what your brand name is what they want to call you and everything okay so make it easier for your potential uh, customers don't make it harder so um the next thing that i would recommend is you start your llc once you start having sales coming in and you know for sure that having a lash business is what you want to do okay and when it comes to llc you can just go on your state website and you can literally file your llc through your state website Mine is filed through Illinois, so all I did was go to the Illinois site, and I created my LLC, and I think I paid, I wanted it expedited, so I paid $250 for it, and it came very, very quickly, okay? If you do not want to expedite it, you can just pay the $150 and call it a day, okay? So now, let's get to the meat of things. So how do I get the lashes? Where do I go? How do I start? Okay, so... First thing first, I do want to mention that I am a wholesaler. So if you are looking for some great quality lashes, 
I'm the person that you will go to. I have a wholesale available for all different types of lashes, including glitter lashes, uh, butterfly lashes, um, dramatic lashes, um, decal lashes, any type of lash you need, color lashes, any type of lashes you need, I wholesale them, okay? All of that will be, like I said, in my description box below. So if you're interested in doing wholesale with me and allowing me to be your vendor, I highly recommend it because my lashes are very, very, very good, okay? But if you don't want to, um, if you don't want me to be your vendor and you want to get a vendor through somebody else, I recommend Alibaba, okay? So Alibaba is an orange app that you can download straight to your phone where you are able to directly contact these vendors, okay? So what you would like, what you what what you want to do is you would like to go to the search bar and search um, mink lashes, for example, and a bunch of different vendors will pop up. But you also want to go to the refine button and you want to click verify because you would like to see verified vendors only. You do not want to take that risk of getting lashes from somebody who is not verified and then you know they may have very very slow shipping or they may be a scammer or the lashes are not the same quality that you see on the site like it could be a lot of things wrong but i just trust vendors more when they are verified okay so i highly recommend that you refine your search and only list uh suppliers that i verify okay um once you are able to do that then you will want to contact them so you will click on whichever vendor you find appealing to your eye you will contact them and um it's a button that says contact seller you'll click that button and you'll basically type up a quick message hey my name is such and such i'm looking at starting a lash business can i see your options and then nighttime is usually when most of the vendors will reply because their night our night time is their morning time so then they'll flood your DMs with a bunch of pictures and videos. Now, this is the important part. I always recommend that people contact them or give them your WhatsApp number. So if you're asking like, what's WhatsApp? WhatsApp is basically a green app that you can download to your phone where you can communicate to vendors. Um, but it's better with WhatsApp than Alibaba because Alibaba sometimes have restrictions on what you can send to them and what they can send to you versus WhatsApp is like you're literally texting them. And texting is always better. You can directly send pictures. You can directly send videos. Sometimes Alibaba like monitors what you say and they'll like block some messages to be sent to the vendors because they feel like the message is, I don't know, like going against violations. So that's why I like to just contact um, them through WhatsApp. So I highly recommend that you download WhatsApp you want to download whatsapp and then you want to give vendors your whatsapp number when you are um, contacting them or you want to ask them what is their whatsapp number because most vendors have a whatsapp they definitely know what it is like everybody's like very much on to what whatsapp is when it comes down to being a supplier and a potential business owner so they're going to know exactly what you're talking about now what's important is that you do your research okay make sure that you are choosing at least five different vendors and getting five different samples you do not just want to go with the first vendor that you see because it may be better quality than that it may be better pricing than that but you don't know because all you did was just go to one vendor and call it a day no you want to really take the time out and reach out to multiple vendors see which one is more suitable to your budget um see what their shipping time is look at their reviews see what people are saying about this company look at how long that company has been in business some a lot of the companies on alibaba will say like they've been in business for five years three years two years one year a couple of months like all of that should be available for you to see so keep all of those different things in mind and when you are looking for a vendor i always recommend that you look for four different things i wrote them down here so i don't forget quality shipping time communication and options slash like varieties okay so you want to make sure that when you receive your lashes or even when you get pictures or videos that the quality is what you are looking for when you are thinking about starting a lash business you do not want lashes that shoot down when every time you blink your eyes no lashes are supposed to have a, a beautiful curl to them it's supposed to be given when it's to give like my lashes like you know, they have a nice curl, sad view, they're still a nice curl to them. You don't want lashes that just 
stick out. Those are ugly. We call them spider legs. I hate them real bad. Make sure that the quality is good. You don't, if you are getting mink lashes, don't have no vendor send you off by sending you fox mink lashes. If you want real mink lashes, they are supposed to be real mink lashes. Do not have these vendors sending you fox mink lashes and they're trying to tell you that they're that this mink lashes. You can tell the difference between fox mink lashes and mink lashes. Fox mink lashes aren't real mink. So the hair on the lashes is not, the quality of the hair on the lashes is not as good as the real mink. These are real mink, okay? These are real mink lashes, okay? 100% real, okay? So that's the number one thing, okay? The quality, because the quality is gonna set up everything for your whole business because what people look for in a lash is the quality of the lash. Is the band durable? Am I gonna take this off the lash band it's gonna rip off? You know, you want to make sure that the quality is very, very good, okay? Do not settle for less. Please always get five different vendors, five different samples, okay? Another thing that's important is the shipping time. If you are going to business, people unfortunately are impatient. So when they order their lashes or hair or whatever you sell, they want it in a timely manner. So if your vendor is somebody that if you pay them on a Monday and they're not shipping your stuff out until next Wednesday, meaning that's a whole nother week that you have to wait to even get the lashes. So they ship it out on that next Wednesday. You don't get into that next Thursday. That's about two weeks and a half just for you to get the lashes before you know you can ship them out. So that's another thing that you want to pay attention to. You want to have a vendor that ships out in a very, very timely manner. My vendor, if I pay, that night he is packaging up my order that night when i wake up the next day i'm already getting movements on my package literally so you want to make sure that you have a vendor that is able to ship out these packages and these and these lashes in a timely manner because your business basically depends on it because nobody is going to return to you if your shipping takes all day because most people shipping are not taking all day anymore. It's not COVID really. We're still COVID around, but COVID is not affecting us how it used to. So shipping should not take long anymore, okay? At least not that long. You should not be waiting one month on lashes, period. Like you just shouldn't. Like it should be a very, very quick process. So that's another thing you wanna pay attention to when it comes down for you finding a vendor. The next thing that you wanna pay attention to is communication. Communication is everything with you and your supplier because if they are not good at communicating things with you, then how are you able to build a relationship with them that you trust them? Because your business is basically dependent on that supplier. If that supplier like never reaches back out to you, always responding back slow, and these customers have questions about their packages or their lashes or when your next restock is or when this lash gonna be back in style and you already purchased them but your vendor is not communicating you know what they need to communicate with you that looks bad on you and your business so that's another thing that's important make sure that you find a supplier that is very easy to access communication wise i can contact my vendor at any time of the day and they're going to respond it don't matter what time of the day i contact them they are going to respond even when they're sleeping. That's why I always say WhatsApp because WhatsApp is literally like their text messages to their phone. I can text my vendor right now when she's probably still sleeping. She'll text me back like, you know, hey Mercedes, I'm not at the shop, I'm not at the um, warehouse right now. I'm asleep, it's nighttime in China. I will get back to you in the morning when I get to the warehouse. You know what I'm saying? Like communication, like she is able to contact me and i'm able to contact her at any time of the day and she's going to respond that's how it should be okay and the last thing is options you want your vendors to have a vendor to have a variety you don't want your vendor to only sell natural lashes because everybody doesn't like all natural lashes you don't want your vendor to only sell dramatic lashes because everybody doesn't like uh, dramatic lashes okay so you want short vendors who have a variety of everything, a variety of natural lashes, medium length lashes, dramatic lashes, 25 mm lashes, very, very short minimum lashes, color, glitter, everything. Your vendor is supposed to be in loop with all the new things that is going on today. And when I say that, I mean like 
my vendor every time something new dropped like color lashes and glitter lashes has been a big thing this summer my vendor was on to it she already had them you know and there was a couple of vendors that didn't have them they didn't they didn't have the color lashes they didn't have the glitter lashes you want to make sure that your vendor up them you want to make sure that they are they are, they're keeping up with what's popular right now. They're keeping up with the trends. You wanna make sure that they are basically keeping up with everything that everybody else is kind of catching on to because that's what's gonna make you be able to get that inventory and you'll be, able, you'll be able to sell basically what's popular right now. So my color lashes took off when I um, started getting on TikTok Live and I was able to generate a lot of money from that. And I was one of the first few vendors who had colored lashes. Like as soon as I sent them on my explore page on Instagram, I got right on it and I DM, I messaged my vendor and they had them. So, like I said, being on top of things and on top of trends when it comes down to lashes, that also plays an important role, okay? So, so far I told you about, you know, your logo, making sure that it's nice and clean. You can get your logo made through a graphic designer if you would like to. So, you can just go on Instagram and search or hashtag Graphic Designer STL if you live in St. Louis. Graphic Designer ATL if you live in Atlanta. Shy Graphic Designers if you live in Chicago. And you can just literally go through and depict which graphic or uh, designer you want. That's one way you can find you um, a graphic designer to create your logo. Another way that you can create your logo is if you go through Etsy, which is that orange app. You can go on there, you can find graphic designers, or you can literally find you a logo, have it, customize however you want to customize it and then pay them directly through the app and um i did that with my logo so people always tell me like hey this girl took your logo this girl took your logo it's not that they took my logo it's that that they both we both probably got our logos from sd okay no i'm not gonna change my logo because i like my logo my logo is my logo and that's just what it is but you know, if you want a completely unique logo, then I definitely recommend that you just get your graphic designer to just make you one. And then third option, if you are going more on the cheap side, you don't want to, you know, spend money on anybody else doing it. You want to do it yourself. You want to DIY. I would definitely ask that you download the app Cambia. Okay. It is like a bluish purple app and you can literally type in logo, a lash logo, and you can start developing your logo from scratch. It has different fonts, different font sizes, different effects, animations. Whatever you wanna add to your logo, that app is completely, I don't think it's completely free, like to unlock certain like effects and certain stuff you do have to pay. I don't remember how much it is, but I just know that if you would like to just do something very quickly, Cam, uh, I think it's called Canva, is definitely a good app that you can use for you to go ahead and create your logo and i'll make sure i put the spelling down here below just in case you want to know how to spell it okay so boom that's how you do your logo and then you guys you guys could really just the next thing i talked about was my your business name you could really just take that into your own hands use your time and just you know create your own business name somewhere that you could see it plastered on a billboard um on new york in new york you know whatever like you want to think big like some a logo and a business name that you could see literally everywhere nice clean simple to the point and then i talked about llc's so you can go on your state site and get you an llc or you can go through legal zoom now i'm going to start going through legal zoom to do my taxes this upcoming month of september because um i don't like doing paperwork i hate it i don't feel like doing it i don't have to do it because you can just pay professionals to do what they're professionally like supposed to do so I'm gonna go through LegalZoom, but LegalZoom is definitely expensive. So I do wanna put that out there. If you are looking at LegalZoom, definitely believe you're about to spend some money, okay? But when it comes down to my taxes, it's definitely worth it because I'm not gonna get in trouble by the IRS. So I'm definitely gonna go through LegalZoom to get my taxes done. But I do believe that you can go through LegalZoom to get LLC documentations and everything else. But I do highly recommend you just go ahead to your uh, state site and just handle your LLC by yourself. And then I talked about finding your vendors. So you guys know Alibaba is the way to go. That's the only way I know. Or you can come shop with me. I am a wholesaler and I do ship worldwide. All of the details will be in the description box below once again, okay? Also, um, I talked about the four things you need to pay attention to, everything. So now once you have, you know, your business name, you have your logo, you think you have your lashes that you want, now it's time to get a little serious. Now, 
I recommend you have a website. I'm sorry, like it's 2022. Websites are needed for your business, okay? You can either do your website by yourself through Shopify or Wix. I have Shopify. I don't know nothing about Wix, so I cannot tell you anything about Wix. But I know it's Shopify. I love Shopify. Um, you can either create your own website. I know there's a couple of YouTube videos out there showing you how to create a website from scratch. Like, I know it is because I've seen a couple of them. So, if you don't want to pay anybody to make your website, you can definitely do it 100% by yourself all you will have to do is go on youtube and do your research research is going to be the number one thing that you need to keep in mind this whole entire time while starting a business you have to do your own research you just have to i did my own research i didn't ask nobody for no handouts no hints i didn't i never was no in nobody dm like how'd you do this how'd you get that i never asked any questions when i seen something i researched it i immediately looked it up so do your research that's going to be most important if you really want to start a lash business or any business and you're really really serious about it you would do your research don't just come hopping in everybody named mama dms trying to ask them step by step how to get to stuff when it's useful videos available teaching you stuff like this one like it's other resources that you can use other than to ask people all day how to do these things okay so just definitely do your research so you can either get a graphic designer, pay for a graphic designer to do your website, which is what I did. I don't know nothing about websites. I'm not interested in learning how to do them by myself. I just pay people, like I said, I pay people for what they are supposed to do. So I get a graphic designer. Um, her name is Brandon with Mia. If you are interested in um, having her create your website, I'll put her name right here. But Brandon with me and did my website. She did an amazing job. I'm actually going to get my website revamped when I have my photo shoot uh, coming up. But yes, you can either get a graphic designer to make your website or you can make it yourself. And I say this because you don't want to think of your business as being a local business. It needs to be a global business just off the rip. Like it has to, you have to think globally just off GP. You cannot sit there not saying that i never started doing pickups and drop offs i did but what i'm saying is now that it's 2022 website is the way to go have your website ready once i start make, when once i had my website i was able to reach so many different types of people like so many and plus the way gas set up i'm not gonna be picking up and dropping off not a damn thing the only thing i'm picking up and dropping off is my car to the post office and that's about it when it comes down to my business okay or if you guys didn't know, you can also schedule for USPS to come pick up your packages if you have a lot of them, okay? I did that one time. It was decent, but I like, I'm a content creator. So I like to go ahead and drop off the orders to myself and record myself doing that, okay? But anyways, website, website, website is definitely needed. I understand if you cannot afford it, but that's why I'm telling you that you can do a website yourself if you are somebody that is a DIY type of person, just go on YouTube and just literally create your own website, okay? I'm telling you, it's 10 times better. You'll reach an a, a audience that you will never, like, even imagine. Like, it's so many people in this world that is ready to shop with your brand. You just have to go get them, okay? Next thing I want to talk about is the show, so, social media part of starting a business, okay? So... Social media is one of the biggest parts. You need every app. You need a TikTok. You need a Facebook. You need an Instagram. I even have a Twitter. I have a, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I forgot. But the, the app that starts with a P, I'm going to put the name of it right here because I'm not going to embarrass myself. But I have all of those apps and it's only because I want to be, like I said, I want to, I want to be known on a global level. I want everybody to at least see Lash by Mercedes at least one time in their life. I want as many orders as I can. So different websites and different social media apps attract different type of people. My Facebook followers and friends are not the same people on my Twitter. My Instagram supporters are not the same people on my TikTok. My TikTok is my number one supporters and it's nothing like any other other apps. So every single social media app is different. That's why it's important to have all of them because like I said, my Facebook has like, it's nowhere near like my TikTok. Like, my Facebook supporters, people that are my friends on Facebook, they are completely different than my TikTok supporters and the people that I have on TikTok. Those are two different types of people, okay? So you want to make sure that you have every every single social media app so you're able to hit every single um, audience that's on that app, okay? So 
make sure that you are posting your content make sure that you are getting people excited let people know like hi my name is such and such i'm i have a lash business or i'm starting a lash business this is the name of it here's the website or whatever you want to tell them let people know let people know that you are having a, a business okay and you want to keep talking about it you want to let it you want to let it be known okay so that is definitely important is posting you want to post at least three times a day on Instagram of your business. I say, whatever your launch date is for your business, I say start promoting it one week, exactly seven days before you launch. And I tell you seven days because it gives people the right amount, like the right amount of hype to be prepared to shop with your business. Okay, if you are sitting there promoting a the business for three weeks, people gonna get tired, they're gonna be like, okay, when is she gonna like, when is she gonna launch this business? She been promoting this business for a whole month. <clears throat> and it still has not dropped yet. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like seven to 10 days before a launch is the perfect amount of time you need to launch and start. Your BO will start promoting for your business, okay? So definitely take that gym and put it in your back pocket, okay? Um, and the next thing I wanna talk about is like how to promote yourself. So not only can you use your social media to promote yourself, but you can take it back old school. I used to spend so much time during the summertime passing out flyers, it's ridiculous. A real business woman has all, always has her business cards on hand with her available at all times, no matter if it's in her purse, in her wallet, in her car. She's gonna always have business cards available to give you. It doesn't matter if I'm at a restaurant. If I see so, a pretty girl, when she got her lashes done and she got, you know, she looking cute. I'm going to give her my business card. I'm going to let her know like, hey, I sell lashes. And usually people accept the card. People never has, I've never had an incident when nobody accepted my card right in my face. Everybody has always been so nice about it because they love to see it. Like people would love to see it. So always have your business card handy with you. Always have it. Always have your business card on deck ready to give out to people. Okay. So. You can pass out flyers. You can go to these nail shops. I have videos on my TikTok of me passing out flyers to nail shops after asking for their permission to, asking for their permission to leave my flyers basically on their desk. And they're like, yeah, like they love when I do that. They love to see it. They love to see that, you know, I have my own business and I'm trying to put myself out there. So passing out flyers, talking about your business, going to business, uh, business seminars, all of that stuff is going to eventually help you and mold you into the business owner that you, that you are supposed to be, okay? Trust me. I have been in business for three years. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about, okay? And um, last but not least, like a couple little hinders that people always ask me is like, oh, where do I get the business cards from? I get my business cards from Vista Print. Vistaprint.com or uprinting.com is how you're able to basically get your business card available uh at, like printing out to you okay and when it comes to now to my graphics like oh people always ask me like oh how do you get you know the cute little templates or how do you get a business card made or da 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 da, -da. you can go on etsy and get a business card made etsy all you gotta do is type in business cards a bunch of templates gonna pop up you ask what you i mean you go in there and you edit what you want to replace you pay the lady she'll make it or like i always tell y'all Get a graphic designer. Get a graphic designer that you trust, you love their work, they're able to um, give you what you're asking for in a timely matter. Get you a graphic designer because my graphic designer created everything for me. She created my website. She created my business cards. She created my thank you cards. She created my templates. Those little highlights you see on Instagram, yeah, she created those too. So you can get a graphic designer or Etsy. Etsy has those little Instagram highlighter covers. You can get those from Etsy. Like you can get everything basically from Etsy or a graphic designer when it comes down to the graphics part of your business, okay? So if you're looking for thank you cards to get made, business cards to get made, anything, graphic designer or Etsy, one or the other, or Canva, Canva, okay? Canva, graphic designer, Etsy. Those are the three apps. I'm gonna put them right here. Canva, graphic designer, or uh, Etsy. Those are the apps you will go to if you are needing some type of graphics whatsoever, whether it's a website, business card, thank you card, templates, whatever it is, okay? So that is, I think, the number one question that everybody always asks me when it comes down to the lash business or just starting a business, period, okay? 
Shopify or Wix. I recommend Shopify. If I don't have Wix, so I can't talk about Wix, but yes, Shopify is the way to go, okay? And I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, you guys. Oh, you can also go on Amazon and get a lot of materials, okay? When it comes down to like the poly mailers, I will recommend Uline.com. I want to put that right here, Uline.com for poly mailers or Amazon.com for poly mailers, okay? Um, some people get poly mailers from Alibaba, not really. Most people just get them from Uline or Amazon, okay? So poly mailers is the way to ship out orders. You can get it from Amazon or you can get them from uh, Uline.com, okay? I shop at both. <laughs> it's just a preference of mine. I like to shop at both, but that's where I get my, basically my poly mailers to ship out these beautiful lashes, okay? So, um, yeah, you guys, that's basically all I have for you all to start your lash business. Make sure that you guys go ahead and purchase an ebook because my ebook is way more detailed than what I just said. I just wanted to give you guys a quick synopsis of basically how to start a lash business and basically how I started my lash business. Um, it's easier said than done. It takes a lot of discipline, a lot of ded dedication, and a lot of consistency to start a lash business. But I'm telling you, it was the best decision that I ever made in my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you all so much. I, I wish you nothing but the best for all your future endeavors. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Lash Babes. Bye.